In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some a 3D text effect. This is a pretty simple text effect. It doesn't require a lot of filters. It's not real fancy, but it gives you just a quick way to create some 3D text. So we're going to get a new canvas going first of all. So go to File New, make it whatever size you want. And go ahead and choose a white background color. Um, you can choose another background color if you want. I'm gonna, just going to choose white for now so we can see the true effect of this. Uh, I'm going to add some text to it. And you can choose whatever color text you want. I'm going to choose a green color. and um, you can also choose whatever font you want, whatever size. Um, as far as 3D text, you can make whatever font look 3D. It's a little bit easier if you have wider letters, but um, it's really a good effect for all fonts. I'm going to go ahead and type the text I want to show up and use the Move tool to center it on my canvas. So what I want to do straight off right away is that I want to create a copy of this layer. So to do that, go over to your Layers palette, grab a hold of this layer, and drag it to the New Layer button. And in doing so, you're going to create a copy of that new layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this copy underneath my original layer. So the copy is in between my background and my original text layer, which is right on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and select the copy layer and I'm going to double click on this in the blank area to bring up my layer style dialog box and I'm going to add just a bevel and an emboss to this. I'm going to choose an inner bevel and I'm going to choose it to be chisel hard. I'm going to use 90% um, direction is up for size, I'm going to change that to 6, and I'm going to keep the soften, actually I'm going to change the soften at 1, just to soften it a little bit for me. Go ahead and click OK. And so we have our bevel and emboss here. Okay, so this um, step is a little bit different. Instead of using a filter, we're going to actually manually move this layer for us. So what we want to do first is we want to um, go back to the original layer, text layer, and we want to turn this off where we can't see it. We're going to turn it back on later. For now, just turn it off. Go back to this copied layer. Make sure it's selected. We're going to select the Move tool from the toolbox now. And with your keyboard, hold down your Alt key and then press your Up arrow key. and then release those and then press your right arrow key and as you can see I moved it up into the right a little bit. I'm going to do it again Alt and Up, Release and then to the right, Alt and Up, Release and to the right, Alt and Up, Release and to the right. So I've done it four times now and I'm happy with this look. If you want to make the depth even thicker you could continue to do that even more. Okay, so now I want to go back and turn my original text layer on by clicking on the eye. And now, still using my Move tool, I want to replace that layer. And basically, I'm going to first of all kind of drag it off so I can get my bearings. I want to put it right on top of the um, text that I have down here so not counting how I moved it. So you're going to move it a little up and to the right is what it's going to turn out to be, but you want it to be a good match. And you're just going to have to mess around with it a little bit until you get it placed right and then let go. Actually, I'm going to move that a little bit more. And you may find that you need to um, Hold down at your keyboard combination to make it your control key to make it where you move it just a little bit. And 
there. And then let go once you get that 3D look that you're looking for. And that's how you can easily create a 3D text effects with um, just a little layer style, no big filters.